All right. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Pro Wrestling Report primetime Saturday night. We're going to talk about Be the Booker for this Sunday's Destination X on pay-per-view. We're also going to look back at WWE, TNA, and uh, Ring of Honor from this past week, along with this week's Star of the Week. All that and much more coming up right here, right now on the Pro Wrestling Report primetime Saturday night. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time Saturday night. Damian Nelson sitting alongside, standing alongside David Hero because it is indeed time for Be the Booker. And in this segment, we look at the upcoming pay per view event from TNA Wrestling called Destination X and let this guy have the pencil this and guy. the paper and do some booking fantasy wise, if you will, as to what should happen this Sunday on pay per view. A couple of matchups we're going to talk about involve championships and one involves a last man standing. Firstly, it is for the uh, Bound for Glory series, where the winner of that, of course, gets a championship shot at Bound for Glory. Uh, which well, well, but not this match. It's the Bound for Glory series of matches leading up to the Bound for Glory. Which is why the winner of the Bound for Glory series gets the championship right. match of at Bound for Glory, I as I was saying. I want to make sure they understand. They were with me you okay. did, until you derailed the whole thing. It is Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle in what some say was one of the greatest TNA matchups in, a, in history, which happened a couple of years ago. The, the interesting thing is Kurt Angle, megastar. First ballot Hall of Fame, one of the best ever, if not Which the Hall best Which Hall of Fame, ever. TNA or WWE? Both. Or even the Hall of Fame that I'm in. Anyways, Samoa Joe, they're, starting, the they're starting to slowly rebuild Samoa Joe after the past couple years being stuck in TNA Impact Wrestling Purgatory. It's the Mohawk. It might be the Mohawk, which, you know, but right now, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle... Probably going to be the, one of the matches that steals the show. I mean, really, you got three outstanding, tremendous matches right here. But if I'm booking this, Kurt Angle doesn't need to really go far in the Bound for Glory series. We already saw Kurt Angle and Bobby Roode several times. I'm going to book Samoa Joe to get back on track to get the big win over Kurt Angle and gain some huge points going forward for the reboot of Samoa Joe. What are you looking at there? You pick Samoa Joe, all right, yeah. sounds good. And it is a last man standing matchup. Christopher <laughs> Daniels versus AJ Styles. I don't know if there'll be another phone conversation to listen to, but this should be the end of that whole story with them. You know, with the exception of the match between Bully Ray and AJ Styles, Bully Ray, or AJ has won most of these kind of matches. He made Tommy Dreamer quit with the fork into the eyeball. Um, and then of course, he, you know, but he lost that one match uh, to Bully Ray. <sighs> This is a coin flip. I mean, as talent. No, it's be the booker. Right, but it's a coin flip match because AJ Styles is one of the top stars in TNA. He's one of the top baby faces, one of the guys that they have built this company around. Christopher Daniels has been on a roll. He's been, he's made this feud very interesting. But at the end of the day, it's always good beating evil. Much like Spider-Man beat, you know, Dr. Connors. I'm going to take AJ Styles in the last man standing match. At, at Destination X. The TNA World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as Austin Aries, who's relinquishing the X Division Championship for this opportunity, tries to get the World Heavyweight Championship from Bobby Roode. This one, Austin Aries, representing the Nelson family in this matchup. Well, let's not forget Austin Aries, Milwaukee homegrown. Mm -hmm. Bobby Roode, the current TNA Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. This match is going to be fantastic because both guys can go. They're both very creative. They both tell a story while they're, while they're wrestling, which doesn't happen very often anymore. I, I do. Unfortunately, I don't see Austin Aries defeating Bobby Roode. He gave up everything for this shot. And unfortunately, that's going to be the problem because this shot, this match, Bobby Roode is going to leave DX pay-per-view, TNA Destination X pay-per-view Sunday night as your TNA Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion going to be a five-star match, don't get me wrong, but right now this company, is, they have put the company on the back and shoulders of Bobby Roode. And there's one thing when you look at these three matches we're talking about in this segment, obviously more matches, we'll talk about those in TNA Report later, wrestling. This whole pay-per-view is going to be wrestling. Wrestling. I mean, fantastic. 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 
just these matches. It's going to be spectacular professional wrestling action bell to bell. Slammiversary had, uh, was, was uh, talked about as one of the better TNA pay-per-views, if not one of the best well, they've ever done. This could rival it. And let's not forget, you still have the X Division Championship Tournament, which we're not going to be booking. There's a lot of talent that I'm not familiar with, yeah. and I, I wouldn't do it justice. I haven't gotten a call yet, just you know. No, you it's haven't? tomorrow one. That's okay. I told Lagana. I, I told Lagana. I'm not, I'm not interested in the gut check either. I know mine's right here. Be the booker, ladies and gentlemen. TNA Destination X on pay-per-view this Sunday night. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed following along with us, at least some of the main matchups, as to how we see the... But if you don't going. order it, follow us on Twitter at PWR Show for updates throughout the night. And uh, still to come here on the Pro Wrestling Report, actually, as a matter of fact, not still to come, we're going to go to Karma now uh, and get some fan reaction and some fans, uh, what they're looking forward to at Destination X this Sunday. So, Linda, take it away down at Karma. Thanks, guys. We're here at Karma, and right now I'm here with Rick from Milwaukee. All right, Rick, which match are you looking most forward to at Destination X and why? Well, without a doubt, I'm looking forward to the Robert Roode against Austin Aries. I think Austin's going to bring him a challenge that he hasn't seen before, so I think that's going to be the most exciting match. All right, sir, I have a question for you. Okay. I do have a... Oh, Mike Wicket! Hi. How's it going? I'm doing tremendous. I, I do have a question for you, though. I have a question for you, though. Sure. How are we going to conduct this interview if Linda Kay is not wearing any pants? I am indeed wearing pants. I am a true broadcast professional. But as a professional broadcaster and journalist, I have a question. Which match are you looking most forward to at Destination X and why? I'm a very loyal guy. I'm always a fan of the Super Friends. So any match involving the Super Friends, I'll make sure I keep an eye on it. All right. Let's take it back then to Damien and Dave at the studio. And thank you, Linda. Uh, still to come, though, here on the Pro Wrestling Report, we've got this week's Raw Report, this week's uh, Impact Report, and some information about Ring of Honor. And as Star well. of the Week. That's all still to come right here on the Pro Wrestling Report, primetime, Saturday night. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time Saturday night right here on My 24 Milwaukee. Damian Nelson sitting here alongside David Hero. And uh, now that we've got Destination X out of the way, let's talk about this past Monday's WWE Raw. WWE Raw this past Monday night, I think, really surrounded one big star, David Hero, and she's getting to be a bigger and bigger star each and every week, AJ. She pushes or gets or results or shenanigans rather results in both CM Punk and Daniel Bryan getting some wood this past Monday night. I think it is absolutely freaking lootly safe to say that AJ Lee, you know, Mike Wickett's favorite diva of all Who time. Who is this Mike Wickett Mike kid? Mike Wickett, the wiggity whack guy. She has now become Oh, that a, DJ. She has now become a bigger star than the current WWE champion CM Punk and your number one contender, DBD, Daniel Bryan Danielson. Really? Bigger than? Yeah. She has, the angle is now about her. It's no longer about the biggest prize in all of wrestling at this current moment, the championship belt. It is now all about AJ. She has dominated Raw. She has taken over. If you, if you really notice and have paid close attention, right now the only diva, diva you have seen on Raw with the exception of Vicky Guerrero, which she's more of a manager than anything. She's the queen of divas. Was the return of Eve. Other than that, you haven't seen Alicia Foxy, Natty, Natty Neidhart. She's you, good. Ha you haven't seen Rosa Mendez. She's no, good. No, but, nobody. They're, you know, they're on SmackDown, but, but the Raw show belongs to AJ. Why? Because she's become Vince McMahon and that creative team, well, pretty much Vince McMahon and probably Triple H and Stephanie, are showing the world that they create stars. They took two big stars in Punk and Daniel Bryan, 
And obviously they weren't happy with the way this program was working, so they put AJ in there, the girl that was only on NXT, if you really think about mm -hmm. it, and now she's become a household name in the world of wrestling. Two uh, big returns this past Monday Night on Raw as well. This week, Slater Hater. The first one was Doink the Clown. Doink the Clown, who actually got beaten, defeated a legend. Heat Slater defeated a legend this past Monday Night he on Raw in Doink the Clown. Abe Knuckleball Doink is who he beat. I don't know if that's, you know, the best Doink they could have known. But you know what? Congratulations to Heath Slater. He's been struggling. Finally got a big victory over like Oh, he said. got a big victory in the 2011 Pro Wrestling Just Report like draft. He said when he gained the winning points for me and the Nelson family. But it wasn't too much longer after that when good close personal friend Diamond Dallas Page comes out there and puts uh, good old Heath Slater back in his place, courtesy of the Diamond Cutter. The internet was a buzz all day that uh, Diamond Dallas Page was uh, in town for Raw and that he would be the surprise return, if you will. He would be ultimately the uh, person who would do that, but Doink the Clown would be out first. And uh, you can never go wrong with Doink. Do you prefer Happy Doink or Evil Doink? It really does. Was it a sock or was his arm or what did he use when he was Evil Doink as a it was, foreign weapon? It was the uh, flower with the- uh, He did squirt with uh, the hydrochloric acid in it. Mm. No, I don't think it was that severe, but yeah. Um, who's next? I, that's the fun of it. You don't know, but you really don't even think about it enough to care. It's not going to But then when it happens, it's pretty neat. Because in a couple of weeks, who's next? Everyone's going to be at the 1,000th Raw, including us and the lovely Linda Kay. In San Luis. St. Louis. I understand there's a pre-party happening that night as well. Yes. Details about that coming soon. And I hear they have amazing ribs in St. Louis. <laughs> if they didn't, they do now. Tyson Kidd defeats Tensai. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyson Kidd defeats Tensai. One more time, Tyson Kidd pins Tensai, one, two, three, in the center of that very ring. David Hero, Tensai, let the spin begin. Tensai, being the good soldier that he is, realized that they have to somehow help Tyson Kidd get a little more steam going into Money in the Bank, and he just slipped in. What the hell are you doing? You, you know, Spider-Man came out this, this week, and I got some gifts. I thought Anderson Cooper did. I got, well, so did Spider-Man. And I got some gifts, and it looks like it's just a little too small, but I'll get this figured out. It'll be fine. I didn't realize you were such a Michael Jackson fan. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm a super friend. I'm a superhero, and this isn't working, so... We'll get it. We'll Paul get it. Heyman announces that on the 1,000th episode of Raw on June 23rd, July 23rd, rather, Paul Heyman will be back to respond to Triple H and to determine whether or not he will accept Triple H's challenge for SummerSlam. Obviously, David, the challenge will be accepted, and Paul Heyman was brilliant again this past Monday night. It has to be accepted because the SummerSlam poster has Brock Lesnar's big old mug on it. Mo points, mo points, mo points. But let's not forget, we're going to be watching Brock Lesnar SummerSlam live at Karma Bar and Grill, 600 East Ogden, with Hurricane Shane Helms. It's free. Stand back. We need a hurricane up in this piece this week. 105 degrees just about every day here in Milwaukee. Ridiculous. Not the way God made it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, joining us here for the Raw Report. It is now time to go to pre-recorded footage of us this past Thursday night at Karma Bar and Grill, the aforementioned Karma Bar and Grill, where we were looking at w, uh, TNA Impact Wrestling Live, where the Bound for Glory location was announced, David Hero. So let's go to our pre-recorded footage of this guy and myself at Karma right after Impact. It's time to talk about what happened live this uh, this week on Impact, where we saw Austin Aries relinquish that X Division Championship to Hulk Hogan, but he did so while holding both the World and X Division Championships high in the air. TNA Impact Wrestling did a great job for the go-home show, having Austin Aries in the middle of the ring holding both belts, Hulk Hogan in the background. This Sunday's pay-per-view, that match is going to be full of emotion and one hell of a story. One heck of a story for sure. It's a match I am looking forward to. Austin Aries gets his world championship opportunity this Sunday at Destination X on pay-per-view. And the show opened, David Hero, with Bill Bully Ray making a major announcement. He, he's now on Twitter, at Bu RealBully5150. I understand you're probably tweeting and following him already. No, 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 he's actually following me. He's, you know, following the Super Friends. Now, uh, I'm sure he doesn't know who you are. But next week, he he's going to know who Joseph Parks is because there's a big matchup between those two finally happening next week. It's Bully Ray accepted. 
And the amazing thing is that Bully Ray has a restraining order against Abyss. What judge gave a restraining order for that? Shouldn't there be a fear? Shouldn't there be a, a, a case of harm or something? Well, perhaps. But the television championship was on the line as Devon successfully defended against uh, Crimson. Crimson, you're endorsed talent. Crimson. He is endorsed, and he yes. did. And, so for a one, two, three, four, four loss. The last, two, the last time we saw him, he lost at the pay-per-view. Now he loses once again. Crimson stock has been dropping. Some more guys uh, showing up in the X Division tonight. Uh, one of them familiar to a lot of people. The other ones may, maybe not so much. Uh, the first matchup saw Dakota Darso going up against Flip Casanova. And Dakota has some lineage in his blood. Absolutely. He is the son of Demolition Smash Crusher, Khrushchev, Blacktop Bully, Hole in One, Barry Darso. Repo Man. Repo Man. And let's not forget Dakota Darso, a former Blizzard Brawl alumni. And uh, Flip. Casanova actually getting the win in that matchup. In another X Division qualifying match, we saw one half of the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, Kenny King, a dancer, if you will, going up against another name oh, who have got a... What do you mean a dancer, if you will? He dances in Las Vegas, didn't you know? There was an old article on ESPN about it. Oh, no. I didn't see that at all. Yeah. Do you ever, do you remember the show? I don't, I don't go to those. I, I don't go Rescue to Rangers. Chip-chip-chip-chip-bandales. You know, bro, I'm on the list out there. Of the male strip clubs? <laughs> no, of the clubs in Vegas. Oh, you a-hole. Okay. God, I really just dislike you. Mr. Cameraman, pan this way, please. I just don't. I, you're done. I'm, I'm done with you. Just get run away. Run away. Kenny King takes on Lars only. Weird name, but Kenny King gets the win there. And uh, seemingly on his way up in the X Division. I don't know how Kenny King's going to be able to do both Ring of Honor and TNA. We'll, of course, be looking into that story over the course of the next few weeks. A Bound for Glory qualifying matchup saw Jeff Hardy take on Lance, uh, not Lance Storm, but James Storm, and Jeff Hardy getting the win in that matchup and getting points and advancing in the Bound for Glory tournament, which of course will culminate at Bound for Glory in October, which we found out tonight is happening in Phoenix, Arizona at the, let me read this so I get it right, at the Grand Canyon University. Total seating capacity, 5,000. It's the biggest event of the year. Good luck to TNA and Phoenix, the first time they've been in that market. Obviously, WrestleMania 26 happened in Phoenix, Arizona as well. Overall, David, all right, you're off punishment. Come on back in. David Harrell, uh, overall impact tonight, a solid show. They did what they needed to do, I thought, going into Destination X this Sunday on pay-per-view. Oh, I can talk now? And that is this week's TNA Impact Wrestling Report. And uh, I'm just, well, you're just dumb. Always fun times at Karma Bar and Grill, and uh, still to come, though, here on the Pro Wrestling Report, we're going to talk about this past Tuesday's live SmackDown, the Great American Bash edition. We've also got this week's Ring of Honor report. Ring of Honor comes to Milwaukee next Saturday night, and this guy's Star of the Week. Pro Wrestling Report primetime Saturday night continues after this. There's only one place to get the latest from pro wrestling, including the only place to get 100% verified wrestling news. Watch or listen to all of our latest TV and radio broadcasts on demand and get caught up on wrestling news between episodes. PWRshow.com is the cleanest, friendliest, and most fan-friendly source for wrestling news on the web. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report primetime Saturday night. What do you, you I, remember I, what happened last night? <laughs> I got the glove to fit. It ripped a little bit, but you know, much like Spider Man in the movies, his costume gets torn. Let's talk about this week's uh, SmackDown, and uh, it was live this past Tuesday, and uh, the main event, of course, the only thing we're talking about from SmackDown this past Tuesday were the two endorsed talents who qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match happening in just a couple of weeks on pay per view. Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes are now part of the seven men who are participating in Money in the Bank on pay-per-view. I think that two of the men who are clear front runners are now in the matchup. Well, you would like to believe that Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes now in Money in the Bank after originally they were left out. It brings a new dynamic to the match. Now you got Santino, you got Tyson Kidd, you got um, Damian Sandow. Damian Sandow, and now the two... Christian. The two blue chippers, if you will. Let's just hope that one of these two guys wins the money in the bank because I honestly believe if they don't, the internet wrestling community IWC? is going to implode. 
Really? About these two? Absolutely. They're the, they're well, the Nelson the, family. They're might, the but. two favorites. Everyone loves these two guys. I mean, I don't think Santino's going to win. Christian might. Tensai's my favorite. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting if one of those two guys don't win. We talked about the need for a King of the Ring type event. Has Money in the Bank become that where you can Without build new stars? Yes. Because King of the Ring, you know, usually the King of the Ring winner would then go on to face the champion at SummerSlam. Unless you're Viscera. Well, yeah. well, no, he wrestled. Uh, King Mabel, he did go into SummerSlam. He did, see. Only SummerSlam I've never seen. The only one that didn't was, I believe, Billy Gunn or in Ken Shamrock. But Billy... Speaking of Billy Gunn, you know he's going to be in Cedarburg tomorrow. Cedarburg? Cedarburg, the Circle B. Is that B, in our viewing area? Circle B on Highway 60. Absolutely. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sunday. Tomorrow. 7 o'clock bell time. Kids tickets, just 5 bucks, 10 bucks. Drum mission. Blizzardbrawl.com for more information. But yeah, King of the Ring. It has now been replaced by Money in the Bank. Michael Cole uh, tried to show his moves that were similar to Mick Jagger and uh, tried to pick up AJ, but it ultimately ended up in some lip time for CM Punk I, and Daniel I'm, Bryan. I'm telling you right now, AJ has become the poison ivy of the WWE. Like Just, a bush? No, no, no. You know, in the Batman movies. In no, the I TV meant like show. George or Joe. No, 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 no. AJ takes over Raw. Now she takes over SmackDown. And you know what? Amazing that for a, a, a show that is PG rated, is having that kind of a love triangle. Speaking of taking over SmackDown, there was a battle royal for ownership of SmackDown for at least one week. That being next week, the man who will be the general manager of SmackDown would be the person who won that battle royal. And winning that battle royal this past Tuesday Night Live on SmackDown was none other than Zack Ryder. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because the SmackDown tapings for Colorado Springs has been canceled due to all the, all the wildfires. So he, he wins, but he doesn't win. He can't even be the general manager next week. David, okay, yes, the SmackDown taping on Tuesday was canceled. See? Due to the wildfires, which are now contained, by the way. Mm -hmm. But SmackDown will broadcast next Friday night on Sci-Fi, correct? I don't know. Have they found a replacement? They're going to do it Monday after Raw or before Raw. If it's after Raw, that means it's very late at night. It's on the West Coast. They'll be fine. Okay. We'll see. Or in Mountain Time Zone. They'll be fine. You know what? But congratulations. Zach Ryder wins. Congratulations to Zach. He needed that win. And you know what? He's going to be the general manager of the SmackDown brand. Could be fun. Which means he can book matches involving Santino. Horn, Everybody. Hornswoggle. Um, the Primetime Playas. Yeah, he has a huge roster to work can with. Can you just say players, please? Because you're trying to say Playas. It just doesn't, doesn't work out so Players. well. That's Players. this week's WWE SmackDown report, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's time to go into this week's Ring of Honor report. And uh, big news coming out of Ring of Honor. As this uh, upcoming Saturday, next hey, Saturday. look at this. It does come with a web shooter. This is pretty awesome. Ring of Honor comes to Turner Hall in downtown Milwaukee. Some big matchups announced, including the main event of uh, Kevin Steen, the Ring of Honor champion, teaming up with Jimmy Jacobs to take on the Briscoes, and then a rematch from Border Wars as diehard Eddie Edwards takes on the Man Beast Rhino. Rhino to be accompanied by Truth Martini. Hold on a second. Speaking of Rhino, a true f super friend, you know, we, he was at, um, we were hanging out on 4th of July, and mm -hmm. he snuck away, and I understand you cornered him somewhere. I didn't talk to him. Oh, yes, you did. You no, tried I, to I, present I was, him I was, I was, I was, with a was, Nelson family I was looking for him, but I could never find him. Oh, you know what? No, I tried, and then you, got, you had him. He was in his no, own no, no, dressing no, no, room. No, 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 he did have his own dressing room. That is true, but guess what? There's video cameras all over that place at Six Flags, and I know someone that knows someone, and I found video oh, of you and Rhino. So Andy, video. please roll the tape of Damian Nelson. Looking for you. How are you, pal? Good. How good. 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 good to see you. You're looking great. You're looking great. You know, I wanted to... Um, take this opportunity to, I, I want to welcome you to the most elite club in professional wrestling today. Okay. The recognized symbol Lord. of excellence. Lord. No, no, they're, they're, oh, they're in the Hall of Fame, so they're okay. done. Uh, it is the most recognized name, uh, the recognized symbol of excellence, rather, in professional wrestling. Yes. Nope. Oh. They are a couple weeks from now. Uh, this is the Nelson family. I would like to welcome you and invite you to join us and be a part of the Nelson family. You can join the likes of the Miz, Dolph Ziggler, uh, you know, I got everybody. Randy Orton. I want you to join us and fight the good fight. I've heard of it before. Um, but see, the thing is, is I can't accept because I'm a little upset that I wasn't one of the first. Oh. So I'm sorry, but it's I have. Not sure. 
It's pretty good quality, but nice shirt or not, I wasn't the first, so I definitely have to decline. Thank you, but no thanks. Can you? All right, look, I can accept that unless you told me that you're on that that super friends team. Because that's nonsense. You know the three-year-old shirt? It's got that like. Shirt. Well, it's got the design by the three-year-old shirt. The shirt I have in my bag that I'm gonna put on in a few minutes. They just called. They need you in the ring. I think your match is up next. Oh, okay. Up next? Yeah. Yeah. All Thank right. you. Thank you, Rhino. After I put on my shirt. This guy. Really? Turns this down? <laughs> oh, how about that? Well, hey, well, what's, hey now, what's going on? Things are looking up now. It's like we have oh, our own little ooh, personal yeah, AJ here. Ooh, la, la. That's fantastic. Oh my. <laughs> See, I don't think James looked like it's that. It's not a completely bad day now, is it? Where did you go? Oh, what Jesus. are you doing? Oh, I guess it does work. That could have been bad. <laughs> Again, I'm a professional, ladies and gentlemen. And we want to let you know that you can meet Ring of Honor's Truth Martini. Uh, at the Summerfest Rock Stage in the My24 tent. That's uh, coming up this Sunday night from 8 o'clock to 9.45 p.m. We hope to see you there. Truth Martini, Ring of Honor's very own. It's going to be here at Summerfest on Sunday, 8 o'clock to 9.45 p.m. You know what? Since you want to play around, you want to go ahead and shoot your stuff all over the place here on the table, <laughs> why don't we give now you a moment in time, because you've now soaked up all your time for Star of the Week, to talk about who this week's joke is. This week's PWR Star of the it's Week ridiculous. is none other and than wh the Jeeva who has captured everyone's heart in all of wrestling, the lovely and talented at AJ Lee. She is the PBR show star of the week. <laughs> I don't need Rhino, by the way. He had his chance. Oh, oh that's fine. He could have hopped on uh -huh. with the winning team and he decided to be. <laughs> you were left there holding a t-shirt in your hand. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to this week's Primetime Saturday Night. We'll see you again next Saturday night right here with a brand new edition. We'll also see you Saturday night at Turner Hall for Ring of Honor Wrestling. Thank you so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>